start off, before we even get into Squarespace, I'm going to hop over and use this tool called MindMeister that I spoke about a bit earlier. And I'm going to use this tool to create a sitemap and really kind of plan out my Squarespace site. Um, so you can just head over to MindMeister, you can sign up for free, and you get to do three maps for totally free. Uh, once you sign in, I'm going to use a mind map here. And uh, we're just going to have a basic blank sitemap. Going to change the name of the sitemap to elizabethcairns.com. And what I'm going to start to do is basically my goal is to just kind of figure out what are the pages that are going to be on this site and what do I want someone to do when they get to each page. And these are two really uh, kind of important questions to figure out because a lot of times people will have pages on their website and there is no purpose to them. There's no call to action or anything that they want the person to do. So our plan is to basically try to plan that out and get that figured out on the front end. So to add this, I'm going to click first here on just the little central hub. Uh, come over here and uh, hit a plus up here. And I'm going to say we are going to have a home page. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to add another one add an about page I'm going to have another one for a contact page and then I'm going to have a photos page and I don't like that being all the way over there so I'm going to pull it and drop it right in here so uh, as you can see this is going to be a pretty basic site that's all I really need on this right now um, but the question comes into then, uh, what is the, the purpose of this page? And what do I want someone to do on this page? And you want to answer this question for each of the different pages that you go through. Um, so, you know, for the purpose of the home page, this would be to uh, grab attention and have someone click to a further page. Uh, so here we have the purpose of the home page. And again, I guess the, in the what do we want someone to do? Click to look at the photos. So again, the, we'll do the same thing on the other one, purpose of the about page. The real purpose of this page is pretty simple. Um, but it's to give the viewer information about Elizabeth. And what do we want to do, someone to do it on this page? Well, really we're going to kind of give them two options on here. Um, when someone goes to this, maybe they went to photos first or maybe they didn't. So we want someone to have the option of looking at uh, click to look at photos or we want to have someone click to contact the photos page the purpose display the photos in a clean and professional way and what do I want someone to do Well, on this page, we want them to look at the photos because this is kind of a core part of the site. And we want them to also click to about or contact. And then last, the contact page purpose. Uh, give gallery owners or visitors a chance to contact. And uh, what do we want them to do? We want them to simply fill out the contact form. Um, so pretty simple, but um, this, you know, a lot of people will skip over this exercise and you don't have to do it in MindMeister. You can do this on paper as well if you would like. Um, but this exercise really helps to kind of plan out your site ahead of time. 
Uh, for a small site like this, it may not seem as important. But when you get to a really large site, I mean, these mind maps can be massive, these, these site maps and everything. So, um, and the bigger your site gets, the easier it is to lose sight of the purpose. And suddenly you just have tons of just, you know, little widgets and everything or calls to action all over your site for all different things. Um, and so getting clear about what the purpose of each page is and what you want someone to do, uh, this is really going to make help your site come together and have a much better flow.